Hello, my name is Chris Wright from One Spatial. Here at One Spatial, we believe that Geocortex Essentials helps you do more with ArcGIS web mapping technologies faster, at less cost, and at less risk, and we believe better. One Spatial is the UK and Ireland distributor for Geocortex Essentials. We have a wide ranging, large, and growing portfolio of users, including the Environment Agency, United Utilities, Lambeth Borough Council, and Royal Sun Alliance, to name but a few. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you take the HTML5 viewer and make it work in an offline mode. So a scenario might be that we are a utility company uh, and we have engineers that work in the field where there's little or no network coverage. There's really two phases to making the data available offline. The first is carried out by the Geocortex Essentials author uh, and the second is t uh, carried out by the user of the viewer. So as the author, I'm going to log into my Essentials Manager. And I'm going to select the site that I wish to make offline. I'm then going to select the Viewers tab. Having selected our Viewers tab, we then edit our HTML5 viewer. Once in the viewers edit section we can then click the offline button. The offline button then enable, enables us to enable offline module. Uh, effectively what we're doing here is going to build a bundle of data that we can take out into the field. Out of the box uh, Geocortex Essentials HTML5 viewer allows you to take offline any ArcGIS feature services. However, Latitude Geographics have built some packages, some wrappers for uh, iPhones, iPads, uh, for Windows devices and also for Android devices that allows you to package up feature services and use them as backdrops, as tile caches. Uh, at, this, at this point in time, I'm just going to show the former and show feature services being taken offline. What I next do is I click the Generate Offline Bundle to produce a bundle of data that we can take offline into the field. Once this is done, I then click Save Site. Having clicked the Save Site button, I can then hand over the viewer to, to my users uh, who can then take the data offline. So they will fire up a, an HTML5 viewer. So let's imagine I'm now the field engineer uh, wanting to take the data offline and work out it out in the field. So I've got my viewer in front of me. What I do now is I select the toolbar and I select the offline tab. And then from the offline tab I manage my offline data. At this point I'm still in the office. I'm now going to manage my sync settings uh, and I'm going to select a layer that I want to synchronize. In this case wastewater sewers. I'm then going to update my cached area. So I might want to just zoom in a little bit or zoom out or just readjust the area that I want to take out in the field. When I'm happy with the area that I've got I can click update cached area and then I can sync my data. So I press the sync button and then I sync the data. It then syncs the data with the server and downloads the data to my uh, my offline device. I can now go out in the field and using this button here I can go into offline mode. So I'll just press the offline mode now and you'll see that all I get available on screen are the feature services that I've decided to synchronize, in this case the wastewater. It also tells me that I'm in offline mode. I can now add in some data whilst in, in, in the offline mode and I'm going to add in a wastewater sewer. I can then digitize in a new sewer that says maybe it's going to go along here. When I'm finished I can then add in any attributes that are required and then save the object. It then has told me that it's created a feature whilst I'm in offline mode. 
If I now toggle and go back online, the system tells me that I have unsynced edits in my online mode. So I can press the sync data. And when I press the sync data, it will synchronize the data back to the server. And I will see the object that I added in digitized on the map. And that's how easy it is to go offline mode out in the field, do some editing, come back into your office, and then synchronize that data with the main server. My name is Chris Wright from One Spatial. You can get in touch with us by using the details on the screen. Thanks for listening.